Hey guys, it's your big sis Mo here. I know I've been missing, um, at least from, sorry, at least from YouTube, I've definitely been missing and I'm trying to tap back in and make time. So this is gonna be a long video. This is gonna be a vlog. Um, we're gonna do some self-care. Right now it is 9.43. Let me see if I can get you guys on my Apple Watch. It's 9.43 at night. Um, and I'm about to do some self-care and I'm going to tell you guys exactly what's been going on with me. Um, nothing extreme has been happening, like life is still life, but I feel like why don't we just talk and do some self-care. Um, as you can see I did cut my hair, um, it looks a lot shorter than what it is, let me see if I can grab some, because, oh, so that's how long it is right now. Because I know that it's giving, like, wow, she really big chopped, but no, I didn't cut that much. Um, so, tonight, on top of filming this YouTube video, I'm also going to be filming an Instagram reel because at this point in my life, I realize I just have to do both. They have to be done at the same time. I can't split them up. Um, so, let's just jump right into the video. So, what I'm going to do, just to start off, um, and make sure you guys are following me on Instagram. That's Mo Curls, M O C U R L S S S. Make sure you're following me. I'm just gonna start by brushing my teeth because that's how I'm gonna start. Um, but I'm gonna pin my hair back um, to make this a realistic vlog because I would never brush my teeth or wash my face with my hair out and down. So I'd be stupid. Okay. Um, I wish this was like a live stream so I can be like, oh, how's your day going? How are you guys doing? I want to say that, but it's gonna just, it's just weird. It doesn't make any sense. Okay, sorry for that random intermission. <laughs> um, if anybody's wondering where I got my row, it's from Target. It was like 25 bucks or something like that. But yes, she is from Target. Um, and she's been getting the job done. You've probably seen me do reels in this row many times. Um, it's just my favorite. And I'm just gonna put on some lip gloss, even though it's gonna come off. I just hate having ashy lips on camera. Um, this is a sleep lip mask from Laneige. I think that's how I pronounce it. Um, and I wear it, I know that's nasty, but I'm gonna use it anyway. I know that you're supposed to wear this at night. And after you do your skincare, it really does stay on all night. But I have a mini and I take it everywhere. I just wear it all day long, so there's that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's jump into our skincare and while I'm set up the camera I'll just talk to you guys. So um, I'm sorry I've been missing MIA but I have been doing Instagram reels um, and I'll just break that down for you guys a little bit. So of course Instagram has always had, not always, but they've had reels for quite some time. Let me turn my heat off because it's hot. Um, so they've had reels for quite some time, but now I don't know exactly what the qualifications are, but co content creators are getting paid for reels. Um, everybody has a different cap of how much you can get paid. I don't know what everybody's cap is. I'm not going to say what my cap is, but everybody has a different cap of how much you can get paid. So of course they give you like 30 days or like a month to make as many reels as you want. And the max amount of views that I guess they'll count is nine point some million. Um, so that's a max amount that they will count, but you can definitely hit your cap way before you hit 9 million views, if that makes sense. Um, so of course I've been tapping into reels and then for some reason work has just been extremely busy. So if you don't know, not only do I create content, but I also have a full-time job. So I have a paycheck through an employer. I have a full-time job that has been kicking my ass ass like crazy the month of january i worked basically every single day of the week monday through sunday i worked um monday through friday i went to the gym uh you know monday tuesday saturday i, I made i posted content so i've just been non-stop working and i'm a little burnt out and i hate that for myself because i feel like i like preach to you guys like self-care self-care and honestly i have been really failing at my own self-care so i'm just trying to like get back on track with things that I really love to do and making things that I already love to do that was kind of burning me out back into things I love to do. That, I'm sure that makes sense. So um, that's my spiel. That's where I've been. I've just been 
working, which, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, but sometimes it's like, you gotta take a break too. So let's just, I'm gonna set my camera. And we're gonna start off with um, washing. So I'm not gonna edit this out. Excuse me, I'm not gonna edit this out of my YouTube video because it's just gonna be too funny for me to like edit out um, the behind the scenes of like Instagram video. So I'm just gonna post it up. Um, move this over. Okay, my heat's off, good, because that's loud. Okay. So, oh my god, I might edit this out because it's making me laugh. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start off with our face wash. I'm gonna show you guys the face wash too. Which I've used this one before. I don't know if I ever use it in my YouTube video though. This is the Kale Plus Green Tea Spinach Vitamins um, Superfood Cleanser from Youth of the People. It's really good. Um, this is like an OG cleanser that I've used. So I'm gonna pause it. So throughout making these videos, I always pause because I just don't wanna use too much space on my phone. I don't want to see what my hair looks in this video though. Oh, I don't hate it. It's made like a ponytail. Yeah, ow. So it's like literally behind the scenes of like content that you guys don't see. Like you, I don't look perfect, right? But I just have to look like, I didn't just have a full day of errands. <laughs> That's the funniest part about creating is you just can't look like a normal human, which I do think I look like a normal human. I'm just saying like, people do full face of makeup just for a video. Trust me when I tell you I'm not people because I'm not doing a full face of makeup for any video. That's better. I like that better. Okay. Post back up. All right, so we're gonna wet our faces. And let's start. to show the camera how much product we're using. Now what I will tell you about this face wash is you do not want to get it in your mouth. It When they say spinach plus greens, when you get it in your mouth it literally tastes like greens. I have to stop talking for a second just so I can catch the video for Instagram. Instagram video so yeah um, this is just like a self-care video literally just because like I said I'm a little burnt out so why not just chillax with your big sis mo and do self-care I can't think of doing anything else, else on Saturday night now Let's talk about other things that's been on my mind. Something that's been heavy on my mind um, lately, <laughs> which I'm sure all of us have heard. There's mostly women who follow me or are subscribed to me on YouTube, so we'll talk about it. Um, high value men. I have to talk about this because it's come up so much since I've been single and like actively dating. I wouldn't say I'm actively dating right now, but like going out on dates. It has been such a hot topic. Um, and it's mostly from men like it's the topic is weird to me the topic is honestly weird um let me just catch this i'm gonna do it i patch it's funny so i'm trying to talk and then i have to stop talking because i have to catch these videos so then we're gonna do and you guys can see it too i'm really really excited about this because it says high performance melt in darts <laughs> Hyaluronic acid and amino acids, 100% um, safe. So they say. So we're gonna give it a try. This is what it looks like. 
So I'm going to do this first. Press the patch onto target area. Keep patch on for what? Oh, okay, we're going to do this last. You have to keep that on for two plus hours. Okay. <laughs> so we're instead, let me stop that. What? That's crazy. Two plus hours. I I actually got a video. That was good. Oh, I did. Good job, Mo. Okay. Um, and so we're going to go in with our face mask because I know that doesn't stay on for two plus hours. Um, so this is the Restored CBD Essence um, face mask and it's from the cream shop or the creme shop. I don't know. Um, and this one looks like it is a sheet mask, which I'm not going to lie. I actually don't like sheet masks. I like a mask that I can like put on, smooth on, and then like wash off. Let's put on our sheet mask and then we'll talk. Oh, it's super cute. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I'm so slimy. That's why I don't like sheet masks. Um, oh goodness. Oh goodness. Okay, that's my mouth. It's adorable. Mm -hmm. Oh god. Oh god. Uh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, cool. Okay, that's for Instagram. I hope that even looks good. Okay, so now I have on my sheet mask and I'm talking so funny because it just feels weird around your mouth. Um, so yeah, so dating in, in this day and age has been a little strange. Um, that's why I say I'm not dating right now because not all men, but some of the men have been pretty weird. Um, this whole high value debate has just been driving me crazy. And it's been weird to me because I feel like men that I've been running into are trying to tell me how to be a woman. I'm like, excuse me, <laughs> how are you going to tell me, the woman, how women are supposed to act? That's one of like, the weirdest thing about this whole high value man de um, debate. And also, I feel like people are equating high value with um, having a lot of money or like having a good job. Like, is that all somebody's value is? And men are like getting so mad these days, like they'll approach, I don't know about you guys but they'll like slide my dms or something and only talk about money and so my best tactic to scare them away which works every time is to ask for some money i'll be like okay so you know i want my nails done i won't even say it like that online i won't even say it like that i'll just be like um i'll just start talking about money just as much as they are and they're like oh see all you girls are all the same and i'm like your characteristic your your whole character is money so now you're mad when a girl talks about money, like, but you approach them only talking about money. Like, there's this one guy who literally was DMing me, like, left and right, back to back to back. And so finally I was like, um, I was like, well, I gave him my PayPal link. That's what I did. I gave him my PayPal link because I knew he would X out my DMs. And he was like, so is that what it takes for, for you to, like, respond? And I was like, you asked me how you're going to get my attention. PayPal me. Like, leave me alone. It's basically what I'm trying to say. I know somebody's gonna be like oh you know you could easily just be like oh leave me alone you could easily just say that I don't have to that, that's a point blank and I also I also really dislike when people say that like oh you could easily just be like oh I'm not interested I don't have to do that if you send me more than one DM and I leave you on scene you know I don't want to talk to you that's how I feel you know I don't want to talk to you you know it's not gonna happen let's both move on with our lives and trust me, this happens to women daily. I don't think that I'm the baddest anything. I just think that people just be having the audacity. Leave me alone. Like, I already have too much on my plate. I can't throw a man in there. And I'm not saying I'm not open to dating, because I am. I am open to dating. Like, I think I'm open to possibly being back in a relationship. But what I've learned is that when you are really healed from... So me and my ex were together for almost um, five years and we both are toxic towards each other trust me i'm no angel um he wasn't 
you know, a demon. I wasn't a demon. He wasn't a saint. I wasn't a saint. But once you're like healed from all the trauma that you put each other through and you're ready to start dating, people's red flags, oh my goodness, people's red flags are like red hot. Like a guy could do one thing and I'm like, you're out. You're done. <laughs> you're done. Like, I feel like they say that when you're fully healed from all situations, it's really hard for somebody to manipulate you, and I 110% believe that. And I'm so focused on me that it's kind of hard for me to let a guy slip in to like, I don't want to say mole land, but really like mole land. Like, how do I let somebody in? I don't really know how right now. Um, that's why I just say like I'm not ready for dating. Not say I'm not like texting anybody um, or like, you know, casual conversation or going out to eat here and there um but it's definitely been nothing serious because i've just seen too many red flags where i'm like you're gonna stay right in this category over here but i digress i digress kids um okay so how long has it been i think it's only been five minutes i'm gonna start recording and then get back to you guys once we are at 20 minutes okay i'm back guys we're almost at uh 20 minutes but I decided to leave the face mask on so we can do this next part, which is a hand mask. <laughs> a hand mask. Why am I talking like this? <laughs> Let me put on my camera first. And now show it to you guys. So I want to do this intense moisture hand mask because um, I was deadlifting recently and I deadlifted my body weight, which is like 130. Okay, I'm 140. But I deadlifted almost my body weight and I had these calluses on my hand and my hands were extremely dry and rough afterwards so I thought why not do a hand mask and this is touch screen safe so you can text while you do it so we're gonna do it right now while we do it right now okay um it feels dry as hell what the heck oh the soap's on the inside this what it looks like over here So let's put our hands in. Oh, I'm excited. Ooh, that feels amazing. I've been missing out. Mm -mm. I've been missing out. Okay. Okay, this feels so good. Look, guys. Okay, let me stop the video on my camera. Wow, this is so awesome. And this you leave on for 15 minutes. Okay, so I will see you guys in 15 minutes. This actually feels like, hmm, I don't know how to describe it. It's super soft though. But yeah, I have these calluses like right here and like right here that popped up really bad after I deadlifted the other day. And I was like, I need something for my hands. Now granted, will this be like a miracle for calluses? I doubt it, but it's self-care night. We're just doing self-care. We're not gonna try to explain anything. We're just gonna do some self-care and just roll with it. Okay guys, so I just took off the hand mask, but I wanna catch this on my Instagram camera as well. Fuck. Fudge. Um, okay, so let's catch this for Instagram as well. This is the life of a content creator who works a full-time job, honey. I gotta catch it all at once. <laughs> We don't have time to catch it twice. Okay, let's stop acting crazy. So let's put our hands on here. Over here too. <laughs> you guys don't need to watch me rub my hands in. I don't feel like Instagram really needs to watch it either. Honestly, um, I'm gonna take the mask off in a second. So the hand mask um, feels amazing. It feels really, really good. And it actually did make my calcy hands feel pretty nice. What did my phone just do? That was weird. It's like a glitch. And it's still glitched. Oh, because it's covered in that sense. So yeah, it made my hands feel really smooth. Um, feels good. I like it. Anyways, what else has been going on? Um, I plan on moving out of my apartment soon. I've been in this one for about three years, I think, almost three years. And this one has a lot of memories for so many different reasons, but the main reason is that um, when me and my ex decided to go our separate ways, 
Um, he was, you know, of course, we're going to go our separate ways. We're not going to live together. So I had to find a place. And this one I've been in since the breakup. And it's like, I literally started over. A lot of you guys don't know, but when I moved to Charlotte, that was my first time moving out. The, the first time I moved out, it really doesn't count. That's a story time. I'm going to tell it right now. So I was 18 when I first moved out. My grandma told me it was a horrible idea. So I moved in with one of my exes, his best friend, and I think his girlfriend had lived with us as well. Long story short, the ex decided to cheat on me and start dating the best friend's cousin's, um, the best friend's girlfriend's cousin. Um, so yeah, my grandma was right and I moved back into her house within like two months, in which my sister had stole my bedroom. So if you want a longer story time on that and that relationship, <laughs> ask me for it because that one was pretty intense. Um, and a mess, honestly. I had no business. No business being in that relationship. That was a hot mess. Okay, so um, now I'm gonna take the mask off. Fucking mask off. Um, wow, it makes your hands kind of slippery though. The hand mask. Um, and of course, usually with any mask that you do, you're probably gonna leave it on and not wash it off. So let's just take it off. I don't know why I'm pinching for my forehead. Sorry guys, I can't talk <laughs> while I'm doing this part of it because that's just for the Instagram portion. Um, I'm just looking in the mirrorless camera as well. So yeah, so this apartment just holds so many memories for me because it was my first space that I got by myself. I'm the only person on my lease. Um, I got it by myself. Um, all my furniture I got by myself. Like I took. The only thing I did take from my ex was we had bought like a really big, nice LG TV. And I was like, I'm, I need that. Like, I, I want that. And then like a dining room table. Um, everything else was mo. Everything else has been me. And let me just tell you, there were times that I was like, girl, you need to move back to Rochester. Like, it's getting expensive. I don't know how we're doing it. The first year was like, financially, I was like making it but I was making it on the skin of my teeth I will say that like the first year of me being on my own was rough it was hard um just because everything that I had to pay for that was just out of the blue at that point but I knew that staying in the situation I was in just didn't make sense like it was like okay financially it was a better situation um for me but emotionally mentally I was not there so yeah And starting pretty soon, so I'm also looking in my mirror in my bathroom. Um, starting soon, I'll also be going through my Invisalign journey, which I'm so, you guys have no clue how happy I am about that. Like, my biggest insecurity, if I've ever had insecurities, which I've had many, uh, but the biggest one that has followed me my whole life has always been um, my teeth. They're not perfect. I know how to stand at an angle where you just can't see the, the part of the non-perfect that I don't like um, because I've had this smile since I was a kid but I'm ready to fix it and I would never do something like veneers because that's just too extreme to, for me um, personally but I'm willing to do Invisalign. I actually did Smile Direct before I did do Smile Direct and I did it I did the whole treatment all the way through. Now the issue with Smile Direct, if you go to, oh excuse me, if you go to your actual dentist, they will tell you not to use Smile Direct because one, the treatment moves your teeth far too fast. Um, two, the um, what was I gonna say? I, I can't remember what I was gonna say, but I know for a fact the treatment moves it moves your teeth way too fast. Smile and like bite allegedly let me not get removed because of them being like oh you, you, you know facts this is what my dentist said so allegedly we'll say allegedly but um i know for a fact that when i finished my smile direct process this is my story i just smile direct when i finished it um 
if I didn't wear my trays for like a full day, my teeth immediately reverted back. Like it reverted back to an extent where when I would put the trays in, I would put them in overnight and I'll wake up in the morning and have a horrible headache because the trays like forced my teeth to push back to like that, that smile that I was able to achieve. I would never do that again, ever. Um, and Invisalign, my dentist told me that my treatment will be about 18 months, I believe. My Smile Direct treatment was about six months. And it moved my teeth to a, to a place that I really liked, but every morning I was waking up with a headache for the first three days, because you have to change your trays. So every two weeks, or every week, I was changing trays. So, you know, it's, it, the trays are like shaping to the new smile form that you're gaining. Um, and for, for three days of me changing out those trays, my teeth were in pain. I didn't want to take the trays out to eat. And you're also to have your trays out for like two hours. I know that they've changed it around now with Smile Direct where it's like different time frames, but yeah, just just beware. Just just be aware and beware. Um, okay, so now let's do the eye patches. So the eye patches says clean and dry area, which I guess we it's it's we're pretty clean. We're pretty we're pretty pretty clean. Um, remove white film, press the patch onto target area, keep patch on for two plus hours while micro darts dissolve. Dis discard patch after usage. Okay. All right, so it's gonna be until like 12 o'clock, which I'm not doing anything tonight, so we got the time. We got time, baby. Let me just show my camera. I'll show it to you guys. This is fun, filming both at the same time. It's just I have to make sure that I'm far back enough and in the right frame so that I'm looking at, oh, oh God. So I'm looking at my camera as well. Okay. Let's remove the white. Oh, wow. You can feel the darts. It's crazy. It's not crazy. It's, it makes sense, but it feels weird. I wonder what my esthetician would say about this. Okay. I'm going to apply. So that's for Instagram. All right, so here's what it looks like. Okay. And you know what, guys? The reason I knew I was burnt out from work because I was like, oh, maybe I'm not all that burnt out. I should have moved up, maybe. No, I won't leave it there. So leave it on for two hours. Um, and all these products are, if I'm not mistaken, all of them are made in Korea. Um, yeah. So the reason why I knew I was burnt out from work is because I don't get breakouts often anymore um, because I know what breaks me out. So I know to stay away from dairy because dairy is horrible for my skin. So I don't consume dairy very often. Um, so I try to avoid things that, that I know that I would need dairy on. Like I won't eat a burger because I know I can't eat a burger without cheese. Um, on occasion, I'll still get a burger, but it's like once every like two weeks or something. Um, or I won't eat mac and cheese because I know that I don't like vegan mac and cheese, so it has to be real cheese. I digress. So um, I don't really have breakouts. So I was working OD, I'm pushing out reels. I'm also working every single day of the week, which I usually only work Monday through Friday. This, since January, I've been working Monday through Sunday. And then I had this breakout here and I'm like, what? Who are you? Who let you in? So I have this breakout which this didn't freak me out because I was like, okay, I'm stressed. Like, it was, it's a stress breakout. I'm like, okay, we can fix this. But then I broke out my chest and I was like, no. No freaking way. Okay, that was dramatic. I was like, absolutely not. We do not have breakouts on our chest. Like, this doesn't happen. So I was upset. I was like, no, I'm not happy about this. So I realized that 
I always tell you guys like your best is your best and you can't do better than your best and I was not saying that to myself recently like I was like oh my gosh like I'm not doing enough I'm not doing enough and I'm like girl this nine to five is not your life first of all and we're not gonna make it our life first and foremost this is and granted I don't hate my job at all like I it's a very flexible job I've been able to do a lot of things while I'm on I'm not gonna say that <laughs> I've been able to do a lot of things um, with this job, you know, especially as far as content. It's been very flexible for me. So I don't hate my job, but at the end of the day, it's like, I don't want to work for this company for the rest of my life. It's an amazing company, great benefits. I don't want to be here for the rest of my life. So I had to slow down and be like, okay, Marissa, your best is your best and you can't do better than your best. Relax. So yeah. Okay guys, I'm back. I had to turn my heat back on because now it's freezing in my apartment. So it is 12.20 now, 12.20. Um, and I'm finally taking these eye patches off. So I remember I have to do it for Instagram and I gotta do it for you guys too. Um, but yeah, the, so the patches, um, I'm just gonna tell you guys how it feels. So it literally feels like, like you can feel like the, I forgot what it was called. Um, I have to read the package again. But you can literally feel the micro like needles um, in the strip and when I say needles I don't mean like if you ever had like a tattoo or got like a, a, a shot or something like that it doesn't feel like that type of needle like it doesn't feel like that um, a little prickly but it doesn't hurt it doesn't feel like painful um, but it's pretty cool so what it does is it's supposed to like really push the hyaluronic acid and amino acid into your skin um, to depuff your under eyes I don't always have puffy under eyes. I really didn't need to use it tonight, but I was like, I really want to make content tonight. So that's why I just decided to do it tonight. Because I really should have used it in the morning. That's why I have the puffiest eyes. Um, according to my sisters, I literally look like a bug when I wake up in the morning. Um, and you know what's funny is that in the past, I'll have guys who will try to FaceTime me like in the morning as soon as I wake up. And I'm like, honey, <laughs> I have to let the ugly wear off for at least two hours after I wake up. Like, you're definitely not going to see a photo of me. Um, or you're not, definitely not going to get a FaceTime with me that early in the morning at all. So, let's... Actually, I'm not even going to... Well, I'm going to remove the patches for you guys because I probably won't put that on Instagram, but... Let's remove our patches. Hmm. Jesus. Okay. That feels pretty good. So I have my big scrunchie, so I'm trying to pull my hair to the front because the big scrunchie falls down. So now what I'm going to do is um, my essence and then my moisturizer so I can get myself to bed. Um, okay. So I did start to use the um, Fenty Skin. It's a pore refining toner. Sorry, I said essence. It's a toner. So it's a pore refining toner serum, the fat water, which I'm really excited about. It feels pretty good. I, I like it, and I'm obsessed with serums, apparently, because I have, like, four serums over here. So I'm obsessed. So, yeah. So I'm just... And then you guys can see what it looks like. Let's just put it out there. Rihanna superior with her packaging superior i also have um the hydrovisor and this is how it looks and i just really think rihanna killed it with her packaging like all of her products are just packaged so beautifully that i just i want to buy it so this is what it looks like hopefully let's see yeah i'm right there okay I was never recording. I was never recording. Oh my gosh. That just annoyed me so much. I wasn't recording. Oh man. At least I was recording with you guys. Um, so yeah, so this serum is not what you expect. So just drop both those patches. So it doesn't feel like a regular serum, like a water feel. Um, it definitely feels more like 
I don't want to describe it as like a jelly feel because that's not it either. It just feels, I can't really describe it, but it feels really nice. Um, much thicker than any of the serums I currently have. So I do enjoy it. But all right guys, so right now it's 1220, 1225. So I'm about to head to bed. I don't know, I just thought I'll just start off this vlog with me doing my nighttime skincare, talking to you guys, because I was in the mood, like, I don't have to start every vlog in the morning. I'm just more energetic in the morning, but it's the weekend, it's a Saturday night, I'm gonna watch the finale of Power because it comes on tonight and I'm excited about it. So I'm gonna continue this vlog tomorrow, what we're gonna do is go grocery shopping. So I'm gonna take you guys grocery shopping with me, which I'm really excited about, um, I think, I believe so. Or it might just go into like a wash day. It might be a full day of things. Who knows? But alright, I'm going to peace out for now. So good night, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, guys. Alright, so I am at the grocery store. This guy's on my women mask already. So I'm at the grocery store. And we're about to go grocery shopping, obviously. Um, I put my hair in a bun, which I don't love because my face is so fat right now. That buns just make my face look even fatter. Um, or maybe it doesn't, who knows. Okay, so we're about to go grocery shopping, and this is going to be my meal prep for the week. And it's going to be super duper simple. Um, I'm going to teach you guys how to grocery shop, because as I've learned as I've gotten older, you have to go to several grocery stores. If you shop in the one grocery store, you're probably going to overpay. So, let's get going on grocery shopping. Right now, it is 1.25 in the afternoon. And it's Sunday. So this is like a 20, I wanted to call it a 24 hour vlog, but it's really not. It's more like a, like a 12 hour vlog. Um, okay. Let's get going. I'm not gonna hold that. It feels weird vlogging around other people. So I feel like people think that I'm trying to vlog them. I'm walking with them. So we are at our Paris Theater. I am not from the south, of course I'm from the north, so I really miss um, places like Wegmans. And no other grocery store compares to Wegmans when we're at So, yeah. Here I am. Um, so you guys are not looking at people the whole time. So the big ones that I like to get, I'm gonna keep flipping back and forth, um, are Dave's Killer Bread Bagels. They look like this. This is my favorite brand. It has, let me see, 11 grams of protein and mm, I think 11 grams of protein, some of them are fiber. Like like I Like pieces, which is crazy. I want you to help me. It's not 
break your pockets, but I eat two pieces of salmon slices per day. So Okay guys, so we are back from grocery shopping. That was $70 later. Um, yeah, not even that much stuff. I got salmon, I got bagels, eggs, super simple stuff, but that was $70 because that's what happens when you buy organic and fresh caught. I wish I was still in my unhealthy phase. It would have cost me probably like 25 bucks. But um, we're about to run to the hair store because I need to buy a hot oil treatment, um, which I haven't done in years. My grandma used to do them on me when she would wash my hair when I was a kid. So I want to get back into doing hot oil treatments. Um, I wish I could have vlogged more in the grocery store, but Sundays are extremely busy and there's tons of older people and I don't want to have a camera out and this is my question is me like, why are you recording me? But, um, but literally it's like, I just, I hate feeling like I'm violating somebody's personal space or whatever. So I'll record it when I could, but we're about to go over to the hair store and see if I can find these hot oil treatments. Let's go. Okay guys, we're not just put the bag. Okay, so I'm still at the hair store, but I just grabbed what I needed to get. I'm just going to show you guys what I grabbed. It takes me back to my childhood. Um, this is it. So this is a hot oil treatment right here in this tube. So what you do is you put it in a cup of hot water for like one minute. And then when it's nice and hot, you break it open and you put it in your hair um, after you've shampooed your hair. And honestly, I read the ingredients on this and I don't even know if there's actually oil in this hot six or sorry this hot oil treatment um the brand the brand is cholesterol i think i don't know if there's actually any oil in this but literally my grandma um she used to wash my hair once a month she'd do these hot oil treatments like once every like three months if i'm remembering correctly um and she only used blue magic in my hair and my hair grew like a weed so granted um i know that i'm using better products than i was no, than than better products than that was used in my hair as a kid that sentence doesn't sound right anyways um so I'm, I'm not afraid my hair not growing that's not why i bought the hot six oil treatments or the hot oil treatments why can't you call it hot six um the reason i bought it is because it's just it's, it gives luxury for me so i want to give myself a nice little luxury treatment and i'm so excited to use it anyways so i will see you guys in a second hey guys okay so I'm officially ending this vlog. Um, this was kind of tough to do because I was like, I don't know. I'm also eating blackberries um, here at night. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, then you know my story behind blackberries. I was going to the grocery store after work, or sorry, after the gym for a few mornings and the blackberries would not ring up because the UPC code was like not entering into the system, I guess and so they kept giving me these blackberries for free so i would walk up go to self checkout and they'd be like i'll oh, just take them and i'd be like okay all right we're doing this i got like three like things of blackberries for completely free um wow. they're so good so i'm getting ready for bed now and i was going to include my wash day in this video but that would make this video be like 55 minutes I don't want to have you guys sit through a 55 minute long video. So you can check out the reel um, on my Instagram page that'll show the hot oil treatment. This is my hair after the hot oil treatment. Let me just spin around. Spin around. So yeah, so this is my hair after the hot oil treatment. I literally just got out the shower after washing it out. Um, I'm definitely on a growing my hair back out journey. I feel like every single time I cut my hair, my iPhone sends me a video of how long my hair was like last year or 2020. And I'm like, I miss it. Yep, I miss the length. So we're back on a hair growth journey. Oh, cause I had just reached booty length like a couple months ago and I was like, okay, now we're bored. Now we're gonna cut it. And I have this horrible, you know, it's a horrible phase for me. I, I consistently do this cycle, it's terrible. So it is 10, 24 right now. I can't get it in the camera. Oh well. So it's 10 24 right now. I'm about to head to bed so I can get ready for the gym in the morning. But I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. Um, 
definitely the longest video I've probably ever done to date. So I'm gonna try my hardest not to really edit out any parts. So it's really like you're right there with me. Um, but this was pretty fun to shoot. It really was like just traveling around with my camera. It's actually pretty fun. I actually like doing the vlogs more than doing like the super edited like wash days and stuff like that. Um, so let me just put my hair up real quick. So we can really actually get ready for bed. You guys know I love my long bonnet. Okay, so what was I saying? So yeah, so I really love doing these style videos because it just feels like you guys are right there with me, which is really fun. So I hopefully will have this uploaded tomorrow, which you guys have no clue what tomorrow is because I don't even think I mentioned dates within my videos. So anyways, um, I had a really good time shooting this video. I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. Make sure you like, share, um, repost this video and also I have a giveaway coming out very very soon my giveaways are always usually linked to Instagram but I'll also include it in one of my YouTube videos to remind you guys who are not following me on Instagram why you wouldn't be following me on Instagram is crazy um, but I will be having a giveaway coming very very soon more than likely mid-March so be prepared to get into that giveaway because we are tapping in with a new hair product that I tried out that I really fell in love with um, so anyways good night guys I will see you in the next video peace